the sequel to Deli Belly. There's a sequel to Deli Belly? No, it's called Deli Crimes. This is a series. Back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm looking out the window. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy, 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 it's juicy, so juicy, juice. Mm. Uh, and thank you for our social Patreon. Follow us on your Twitter account. There's a bunch of exclusive blocked videos on Patreon. Yep. A ton. Music yep. videos, all that. Go check it out. There's yeah, an exclusive man. tag that I finally made. I think they put something in my Gatorade. I was freaking out just Arsenic. Then. I was tripping. Uh, but today we are reacting to a Netflix series. It came out this year. It's called Delhi Crime. Ah. The exciting thing about this is Delhi Crime. Of course, I thought about some people breaking into some deli in New York. <laughs> Stupid. This has uh, the main girl from Juice in it. Sweet. Shafali Shah. From uh, the short film Juice. Yes. Uh, as we know and love her in that. Do you want to read the synopsis? Why I do want to read the synopsis. Right now. So. Based on the Nirbaya case, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Nirbaya case, Delhi crime follows the Delhi police investigation into the finding of the men who perpetrated this crime. Cool. So I guess that's an actual case that yes. we're being told. And it came out in March of this year. Uh, so it's still on its first season. That's one of the most common things that'll happen with crime shows, irrespective of region, but you've got an unlimited amount of source material because you get access to actual crime stories that are yeah. just ongoing and you have never ending material for your crime show. But uh, having the main actress who we love, who's a phenomenal Great actress, actress. Just from that, uh, from Juice looking alone. Forward to if this you one. haven't seen Juice, see Juice. It's one of the greatest short films ever made. Here we go. What happened? I don't have the details yet, but I don't know, there's just something not right. If this is not an honest thing, you win. This crime is not just his, it's insanity. Glad I renewed my subscription to Netflix. I don't know the exact premise of that that exact case, but I'm assuming yeah, it's we've something never heard similar of to yeah uh, something heinous rape murder against. I, I promise it's a. I'm, I promise it's probably a gang rape. Gang rape, something like that, and then, and then murder or something. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. or worse. Yeah. The the survival aspect of that and the living with it for the rest yeah. of your life. Uh, kind of crap and. I hope it ends with, uh, I hope it ends the right way. 
But yeah, it got me. I mean, I'm like, I'm emotionally connected to the story. Yeah, that's one of those ones that it would be fairly easy to be invested in. Because it's one of those stories that's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get these guys. <laughs> it's, um, I want to see what happens to these monsters. Exactly. Yeah. I, I want to see their head chopped off. Exactly. Wanna, like, <laughs> yep. There's so many, it's, there's so many great um, movies that are made of stories, whether they're fiction or nonfiction, that give you that sense of justice, hopefully, where those who deserve get with coming to them get it. Uh, but irrespective, it seems like it's clearly, it's a true story, it's an important story. Uh, do, do us a favor, if you're commenting on this, which I know you beautiful, stupid babies will, you know the outcome already. For those of you who know the story, we don't, and people watching the show probably don't. So again, no spoilers in there in regard to how this all turned out and ended. But uh, yeah, I'm interested just because Netflix is doing great stuff and her in this is a huge draw for oh, me. Oh yeah, she's huge, phenomenal. Huge draw for uh, me. This guy was in like And that's, I knew I recognized him. Yes, he's the guy I pointed at the screen. Adil Hussein. Adil Hussein. He was yes. in English of English. He was in English of He played the dad, the husband yes. in English of English. And he's also apparently, he's the dad. He is Irfan in Khan's Pi. dad in Life, in Life of, Pi. of Pi. He's married to Taboo. He plays his mom and dad when Irfan Khan's character is a boy. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, him and Taboo play Irfan's mom and dad as a young man. Then we uh, saw this in, guy in the lunchbox. Yes. Oh, he was the boss. He was the boss. He was the he boss. Was Irfan's boss. That's right. Uh, Look at us remembering stuff, guys. We're so smart. Oh, man. We didn't even... We're going to call it our smart reactions. Won't even need to change the letters. <laughs> <laughs> that probably wouldn't do as well. <laughs> no, because they'd watch this sh once and, and go, like, yeah, you're not smart. You're not smart at all. <laughs> False advertising. <laughs> going to sue you. <laughs> but yeah, let us know how this is. Uh, it looks like it's well shot, uh, mm -hmm. Netflix, and so it'll, it'll have the grittiness and it'll have the com captivating story. The acting's going to be there with her at least. And now we've got to make a decision about what's the next. We've got a couple, we've actually got three shows well, now. Well, I think there's, I know some of you are going to say TVF. I've said this before and, and I will say, say it again. again. They will not allow us to react to any of their series. Yep. They said no. no. That we flat out got direct answers from them when we asked for permission and they said no. They have contracts with partners and so they, we, it's not possible now unless it's on Patreon, which we might do. But it's not there yet. Um, so the series is I'm contemplating currently uh, th this one. This one. Uh, Maz I, Maz Maz or Ma Ma Mazapur. Mazapur? Mazapur. M A R Z A P U R. And then I believe the family man. Right. All the, 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 those. Two people I would, really said are a like lot really of yeah. Good. Some were saying that Marzipur was like they said if you thought Sacred Games was intense and blow your mind, you need to watch that. Well, one. yeah, it's, I think it's going to be very different. I think that one's going to be more of like bloody actual violent. bloody war as opposed to Sacred Games, which more uh, a lot of thinkers. Uh, it, which I figured out some people didn't like the season two because it, it it wasn't as much of about a gangster anymore. As far as this new show, no, no, Sacred Games. Oh, and people were upset with Sacred Games because the season two because they said it wasn't as um, Gaitande gangster centered. Yeah, it went from being Scorsese ish to more Christopher Nolan ish, I would imagine. As yeah. Far as, yeah, I freaked. Okay. To each his own. I thought. I, 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 I think both I seasons are beautiful it. together. And it's both, just, you know, done if, that. if you don't just like watching great acting, then maybe I could see that. Because some yeah. people don't just like watching acting like we like. Exactly. Like we love just like <laughs> dialogue driven things. If there's no action, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, like the lunchbox. Yeah. Nothing but brilliant acting with moments of dead silence. I'm sure there are All channels that enjoy action stuff more and, you know. Oh, I've seen comments of like, why are you reacting? To There's somebody who flat out said I'm unsubscribing because you're not doing action anymore. You're not doing fight scenes. It's like, well, okay, go watch, go watch reaction channels that only do fight scenes. Yeah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you there. Oh, yeah. Let us know how this is. It looks really good. Love her. Uh, say her name for me one more time so I can uh, give you ingrained to my memory. Shafael Shah. Shafael Shah. We love you.